This is what it looks like with just the room lights. But by simply adding in just two lights, we can completely change the look of the video. Today, I'll be breaking down this affordable lighting setup so that you can try it for yours. All right, we're here in the setup and we've got both the lights on, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the backlight so that we can really take a look at what just the key light is doing. When you're using a key light like this softbox, there's some different looks that you can get with it. What I like to do is to start by placing it at about a 45 degree angle, slightly elevated and angled down. I feel like it gives the most flattering look, but let me show you guys some other looks you can get. If you simply move it to the side, you're gonna get a little bit more of like a, a moodier kind of look where it's more split faced. And this can be a nice look as well. Or you could move it more straight on. It's very flat. Um, it's not always as flattering and it's a little bit more of a corporate-y look. Personally, I like to do that, you know, kind of 45 degree angle. And the other thing is you'll really wanna try to get the light as close as you can to you because the larger the light is and the closer it is, the softer the shadows will be. And the other thing to look for is, is you wanna try to get a little bit of a catch light in the eye because that will help you connect with your viewers. Now let's talk about the backlight. It's doing multiple things. It's lighting up the background and creating an outline around me. Now you can actually change what this light is doing by simply just rotating if it's more on the background or if it's more on the subject. If you wanna have mainly just an outline or if you wanna have mainly just a background light. And if you wanna go background light, you can actually just change the position of this to be on different sides or even directly behind the subject to create a nice kind of radial burst. One thing to mention with background lights is you don't wanna run your key light too strong because you're gonna to have to adjust your exposure to you know compensate for the strong key light. It's just gonna darken the background and wash it out and not be as strong. It's all a balancing game. Let me go ahead and adjust this back. I'll run the key light a little bit darker and it's a little bit more balanced. I'm getting more out of the background lights. I use two light setups like this all the time for talking head videos, B-roll, even thumbnails. But you can actually start to add in even more lights and create all types of setups. And lighting in general can already seem kind of overwhelming and complicated. That's why I created my course learn video lighting. It has everything I've learned about lighting over the course of my career, all placed into a power packed course. It's advanced techniques taught for beginners. It will help you leverage light to your advantage so that you can create content that stands out. You can check it out at learnvideolighting.com. So now let's talk about the gear. For the key light, I'm using the Mount Dog Softbox Kit. This is one of my absolute favorite recommendations for newer creators because it's a lot of value for the money. It's dimmable, color temperature adjustable, remote control operated, and it comes with the light, a light stand, a softbox, the remote control, and a carrying case, all for around $50. Now let's talk about the backlight. This is the Godox TL30. I like it a lot because of the size and it's still decently bright. It's also dimmable, color temperature adjustable, and it's RGB with some built-in effects. There's also a ton of cool ways that you can mount this light. It has quarter inch thread mounts so you can put it on light stands or tripods, but it's also magnetic so you can attach it to a lot of different things. It even comes with some accessories to help shape the light or take it underwater. And it's app controllable. If you have multiple of these lights, you can actually connect them together to make Make like a longer tube light. Personally, I love to use this light as a backlight or a hair light, or you know, sometimes I'll use it for creating some motion in B roll, and it's just really versatile. Now, if you do have a little bit more of a budget and want to check out what I typically use as my main key light, then continue on to this video here. I placed links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Peace.